So at this point I'm like 90, 80% loaded, 85% loaded. I still gotta get 160 feet of PVC, two inch PVC conduit. I got all my metal conduit. And uh, that's all down on the bottom. And then I've got a bunch of cuts of wire, number eight and PV wire. I got the gutters in there. It takes a lot of planning, a lot of loading and a lot of time to get ready to go do one of these big out of town jobs and have everything you need. I, I would definitely classify myself as a disorganized person. Both my parents are disorganized. My dad was a paint contractor in his van. He drove an Econo line. It was always just exploded. It's about 160 feet of two inch conduit and some shorts. I just bundle it up tight so it can't go nowhere. I want it to get moving when we're moving. All right, folks, so here we are pulling up on the job after eight hours of travel yesterday, and uh, a terrible night's sleep in the hotel. And things are looking a little wet down here in the bayou. I think we're, uh, we're, we're in another undisclosed location. And we're, uh, we're down in Louisiana drive in for a pretty place. Came here last night in the dark and wandered around for a little bit. Looks like we got a machine here. The big boss has already made it. <laughs> Moving uh, batteries after the time is always a difficult thing to do, but we can do it here. Coming to shorten the chain. So we got the battery rack in the house, got the batteries right next to the house, and we are laying out the ground mount. When you go to lay out a ground mount, you don't always have to be direct south. In this case, we're kind of running it southwest. We are in the deep south, and uh, we want him to be able to see the face of the panels when he's on his porch. So first thing we kind of do is run a string, stakes, measurements, Lay out our posts, start staging, we got our braces, our posts, we got our machine, we got our laser level, so you can kind of see how this goes. And now he's going to paint holes, and we'll be digging soon. Once you get all your posts set, and you're ready, ready, you're going to start digging. So we missed one step, they ran a string. And they plumb bob down and they marked all of their holes. So all their holes are marked. And now they're gonna start digging. We're gonna dig the first, first hole and the last hole, and then we're gonna establish a height, set all the posts to that height. And I'm in electrical world. So we'll mount our disconnects and our switch gear for the solar array at the corner post. We'll finish all the way to the side of the house where the utilities come in. We've already got our critical loads panel inside the house. This bottom circuit right here is 125 amp sub feed to the critical load panel. So I'll be pulling that circuit out, putting it in a utility disconnect, and then feeding it to the solar. And that'll be my electrical work out here. I'll have a wireway going across, and then I'll have my disconnects mounted. Now this is the screw I like. It's a treated lumber approved screw so it can go outdoors. I don't care if the RKs are expensive, they're freaking awesome. Lifetime warranty on a screw and then the other thing I like about it, it's got a big old head on it. So this is a great screw and on a gutter like this, it's really good for mounting, surface mounting on the walls because it's, it's only one inch long but it's got a big enough head. So I know I'm not going to risk hitting a wire. My, my risk of hitting a wire, especially when I'm going into something like this, really having a lot less risk of hitting anything inside the wall. But it's still got plenty of bite. This is a favorite screw. You can get these GRKs at Home Depot. Abraham don't like them because they're on a T5. I think they're on a T20. No, they're on a T15. But they give you the bit. So this is our lunch. Lunch location for day one. What's on the menu, boss? Any crunch? Oh, I didn't bring a lot of good food. Here, I'm gonna eat yours. Well, don't worry. All right, boss, what's on the menu today? 
I'm just eating your food. I don't know. Got. I ain't eating kale chips. I know steak that. Steak tacos. That's kale for liberals. Chip, cheese and avocado. Kale chips are not for liberals. <laughs> I happen to eat them, and I'm very conservative, according to Facebook. Torta. Oh. Your sources. So this is really an amazing property. It's got a couple of really cool buildings on it. This is just a metal barn. And um, he did some cool stuff though. He's got a really big porch, nice porch. Uh, he's got concrete right in front on both sides. So as you go into the building, you're not just constantly bringing in a ton of mud and dirt. You gotta spot the hose off. He's got a cool, I'd say this building's like probably 60 by 100. Super cool, big old barrel heater. It's done really well too. He's got a really well insulated pipe and professional install. He's got the um, clear panels across the top. So you don't have a security issue because they're so high, but you get a lot of natural light. It's very bright in here. Wired in uh, PVC conduit, which is fine. It's, it's got a ventilation system. He's got hard foam, so that's that closed cell foam sprayed directly to the metal roof. And uh, he's got this whole barn is insulated. It's got an insulated door on both ends. And then it's just got some awesome uh, 1 by 12 pine. Everything's pine. This guy's got, I really like this guy's style. So super cool barn. It's just really fun to work on these jobs and see uh, just different types of design. And, you know, see other other trades and what other trades are. This is all a really talented old dude. If you see that, I'll show this old dude later. He's like the caretaker and the builder of this whole place. Really cool barn. So we're halfway through the day. Just got done with lunch. Show you how much you can get done in half a day. Got a gutter up, connected to the main panel. They've uh, shored up underneath for where the batteries are gonna be. We've got the ditch lined out. The battery rack is inside the house. The batteries are right here. All our electrical equipment's kind of on the porch. Scott and Abraham have all the, uh, Scott, Abraham, and Antonio have started the trench. And we have the posts all set up and ready for concrete. So we're a little bit bummed we could have poured concrete right now. But we got concrete coming in the morning and about three feet of fall on this array so it's gonna have a pretty tall post at the end all right folks in this episode of big boss versus nature we have the little lemon tree on one end apparently this tree's thrown back to a thorn bush and they want it gone big boss got it i didn't realize that thing didn't have a thumb on it and that's it this has been Johnny Valentine with another episode of Tearing the World Up with the Big Boss. Good job, boss! It's a late day. It's dark. Yeah, and the range on those things. Great my hand over there.